You know, the curious case of this skater shows you that on some occasions a highly ranked prospect uh, in the pre-draft of a certain year could really drop drop quite a bit in the full NHL draft. Now, uh, Ray Maluda has turned into uh, a great uh, supporter and coach and manager of hockey in retirement. But when he was playing Major Junior in the great Flin Flon Manitoba program, he drew a lot of interest, especially his final season there when he put up 97 points in uh, 68 games in 1974, including 40 goals. Now, as a defender, he was one of the top scores ever in Flin Flon history. 5'8", 170. Uh, he was ranked in the Hockey News Draft Preview as the number 45 overall prospect in the NHL Draft in 1974. But he went 126 overall by of all teams the Boston Bruins who were loaded with defensive uh, defensive uh, players. Now he got his debut in the NHL on October 9, 1975 wearing number 3 at 23 when he played uh, played against the Montreal Canadiens. Now he was also a draft pick by San Diego 109th overall in round 8 in uh, 1974. Now uh, Ray's stats are pretty well what you expect from a player of his size and capabilities. His first uh, minor hockey year was in Rochester in 75 when he put up 19 points in 79 games with seven big goals. Second season of vast improvement. He had uh, three goals and uh, 43 assists for 46 points in 74 games. Now he got his cup of coffee with Boston in 76 with two games and uh, was back with Rochester in 77. 26 points in 51 games, but he did uh, have a, a short stint with the big club. Two goals, three assists for five points in 23 games in 77. Then back to Rochester for a season and a half, 41 points in 78, and 18 points in 35 uh, uh, games. So uh, final NHL totals, two goals, three assists for five points. Now, the main thing about Ray is coaching and management career, again, very, very, uh, you know, preeminent. He eventually became a Flynn Flon coach prior to the 97 season and remained in the position uh, until November 14, 1996. He was also assistant coach of the University of Rochester Division Three women's hockey team and he also coached in the Rochester Americans U program in 2003. Now, he was also Flynn Flon's general manager of the MGHL uh, prior to 97 season and was there until uh, November 14th of 96. Now, when he returned to Rochester after retirement, he became the general manager of ESL Sports Center as well as a major force in promoting the sport of inline hockey. He also worked with the USA Hockey to help select the 2002 U.S. National Men's Inline Hockey Team. Now, uh, his son, uh, Andrew, uh, excuse me, daughter Andrea, has done uh, very well in uh, inline skating. But his, uh, his time on behalf of hockey didn't, didn't stop there. Uh, from 99 until 2012, he was the executive general manager of the sports center at uh, MCC in Brighton, New York. He also became for a consultant for the facility in January 2012 when for Roy Fitzpatrick, the former Montreal Canadiens, was named GM. Now, in 2007, he became the head coach of the United States National Ice Sledge Hockey Team, leading them to a bronze medal at the International Paralympic Committee World uh, Championship in 2008 and a gold medal in 2009. So a very, very uh, determined and excellent career in management and uh, coaching after hockey. It just it makes you wonder, uh, 40 goals for defensemen and to be that like regarded in the draft, but I think a lot of people felt he was going to go maybe the university right route to the WHA but uh, making Boston's crowded uh, defensive line just for a little bit over uh, you know uh, not say uh, two seasons but being part of uh, two squads in the mid 70s is quite an accomplishment because you look at the numbers I mean Rick Smith uh, Sims, Gary Doak, uh, you know, Ennistrand, everybody else, like I said, a hard, hard team to, uh, to make and uh, stay with. So 
that's the uh, legend of Ray Maluna. If you like what you're doing with our Boston Bar- uh, Bruins uh, vintage podcast on uh, players from the 1970s who were second tier Bruins, not superstars, but talented players nonetheless, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't, don't forget, Flynn Flower, Manitoba, one of the best hockey communities in Canada. Thanks for listening. Bye.